Hey Daniel, talk about the, uh, the pressure going into this uh, final race here at uh, Daytona. Uh, for me, just, it's just another race. Uh, Honestly, when it comes to pressure for me, I mean, there is definitely a lot in the, in the line, but once I'm in driving mode, it's the same thing. It's completely different. I mean, you, we know, we all know that here in Daytona, anything can happen. Uh, you can be very, very fast, dominate the race and win the race, or you can be very, very slow with a wreck race car and you can still win the race. So anything is possible here. And uh, we just have to be at the right time in the right place. Hopefully, you know, we, we uh we have a little bit of luck on our side and um and we avoid uh, a couple wrecks and uh and, and go to the front and stay up front what is the expectation that you have with not only maybe your teammate but other chevrolet drivers to help you get into the, the, the playoffs or is there, because there's so many different chevy cars that <laughs> that's what i was uh, that i was able to mention that i was in that the, the situation here last year we're in a completely different situation because the only chevy key partner that wasn't in the playoffs was Austin Dillon. So we always try to to help each other like we always do, but the priority was the three car. And right now there is four of us. <laughs> so so who, who are we gonna help? Uh, so it's, it's a little more tricky. It's not as easy as, as last year, but like I mentioned before, you know, I, I think that anything can happen here in Daytona. Uh, we have seen the fastest car win the race, and we have seen a wreck race car win the race. So anything can happen. Um, the numbers don't lie. You know, every Daytona race, uh, uh, the, the, the second Daytona race of the year is always a wreck fest. So hopefully a little bit of luck is on our side, and, uh, and we can be, you know, we can be there at the end.